Tulips are among the most beloved flowers in the world, known for their striking colors and elegant shape. But these flowers are more than just a symbol of spring. Tulips have a fascinating history, a deep cultural significance, and even an economic impact. In this video, we will explore what tulips are, where they come from, their life cycle, different varieties, and their role in the global trade and culture. By the end, you'll have an appreciation for these remarkable flowers. Tulips are a type of flowering plant belonging to the genus Tulipia, part of the lily family. They are perennial plants, meaning they bloom year after year. Tulips grow from bulbs which store nutrients to help the plant survive through different seasons. These flowers are known for their distinctive cup or star-shaped blossoms and they come in nearly every color imaginable. Unlike some flowers that have a strong fragrance, most tulips have little to no scent, making them ideal for people sensitive to floral aromas. Tulips originally come from Central Asia, particularly regions that are now part of Turkey, Iran, and Afghanistan. They were first cultivated by the Ottoman Empire, where they became a symbol of wealth and prestige. The word tulip is believed to come from the Persian word for turban, as the flowers shape resembled the headwear worn in the region. Tulips made their way to Europe in the 16th century through trade, quickly becoming popular in the Netherlands. By the 17th century, they caused a financial craze known as the tulip mania, during which tulip bulbs were sold for astronomical prices, sometimes costing more than a house. Though the market eventually crashed, tulips remained a treasured flower in Dutch culture, a status they still hold today. A tulip is made up of several key parts, each playing an important role in its growth and reproduction. The bulb is the underground storage unit, providing energy for the plant to bloom. The stem supports the flower and delivers water and nutrients. The leaves absorb sunlight for photosynthesis. The petals form the colorful eye-catching bloom that attracts pollinators. And inside the flower, the stamens hold pollen while the pistil is the central part responsible for seed production. There are over 3,000 registered varieties of tulips divided into 15 groups based on their shape, size, and blooming season. Some of the most popular types include single early tulips, which are one of the first to bloom in spring with the classic tulip shape, double tulips that have extra petals giving them a fuller rose-like appearance. Fringe tulips are recognized by their fringe or serrated petaled edges. Parrot tulips are known for their ruffled, feather-like petals and bright colors. Rembrandt tulips are famous for their streaked petals, originally caused by a virus in historical varieties. Darwin hybrid tulips are large, sturdy tulips that return year after year, ideal for gardens. The life cycle of a tulip begins with the bulb, which is planted in autumn. As temperatures drop, the bulb remains dormant underground. In early spring, as the ground warms, the bulb sends up shoots, eventually developing into a fully bloomed flower. After flowering, the petals wither away and the plant directs energy back into the bulb, preparing for next year's growth cycle. Tulips thrive in temperate climates with cold winters and moderate summers. Photosynthesis is the process that plants, algae, and some bacteria use to convert sunlight into energy. During this process, they take in carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil. Using sunlight as energy, they transform these into glucose, which is a type of sugar, and oxygen. The oxygen is released into the air, which we and other animals rely on to breathe. Photosynthesis is incredibly important for tulip survival. Tulip bulbs should be planted in the fall before the first hard frost. The best time is usually between September and November, depending on the climate. Bulbs should be placed about 6 to 8 inches down in well-drained soil with the pointed end facing up. They prefer full to partial sunlight and should be watered lightly after planting. By spring, they will emerge and bloom, adding vibrant color to gardens and landscapes. Tulips can also reproduce through seeds, though they usually are reproduced through bulbs. When a tulip flower is pollinated, it develops a seed pod that contains small black seeds. These seeds can be planted, but it takes five to seven years for a tulip grown from seed to bloom into a beautiful flower. Because this process is slow and unpredictable, most gardeners and tulip growers prefer to propagate tulips using bulbs, which produce flowers much faster, usually the next growing season. 
If you want to try growing tulips from seeds, you'll need to let the seed pod dry out, collect the seeds, and plant them in well-drained soil. However, be prepared for a long wait before you see flowers. The Netherlands is the world's leading producer of tulips, exporting billions of bulbs every year. The country's flower industry contributes significantly to its economy, with the Kuchenhof Garden, often called the Garden of Europe, attracting millions of visitors annually. Tulips are also grown in the United States, Canada, Turkey, and parts of Asia, but the Dutch remain the dominant force for tulip cultivation and trade. Tulips hold cultural and symbolic significance across the world. In the Netherlands, tulips are a national symbol celebrated each year on National Tulip Day. In Turkey and Iran, tulips have historically represented paradise and divine beauty. Different tulip colors also have meanings. Red symbolizes love, white represents forgiveness, yellow signifies cheerfulness, and purple stands for royalty. Giving someone nine tulips symbolizes eternal love and a deep lasting commitment. The number nine in flower language often represents a love that will last forever, making it a popular choice for romantic gestures, especially in countries where flowers hold symbolic meaning. The meaning comes from the Victorian era practice of assigning meanings to flowers. In this tradition, different flowers and their numbers carried specific messages. Tulips in general symbolize perfect love and red tulips specifically represent passionate love. The number nine often associated with eternity and completeness in numerology and various cultural traditions reinforces this idea. This tradition is particularly strong in China where numbers have deep symbolic meanings. The number nine sounds like the word for long lasting, making it a common choice for expressing eternal love in romantic relationships. So if someone gives you nine tulips, they are essentially saying, my love for you will last forever. Red tulips are the best selling tulip color. They are popular because they symbolize love and passion, making them a common choice for romantic occasions like Valentine's Day. Red is also a bold classic color that stands out in gardens and bouquets. However, in some regions, pink, yellow, and white tulips also sell very well, especially for spring arrangements and weddings. Tulips have inspired artists and writers for centuries. Dutch painters of the Golden Age often featured tulips in still life paintings. The famous 17th century tulip mania, as referenced before, has been referenced in economic studies and literature as an early example of speculative bubbles. In poetry, tulips symbolize fleeting beauty and the changing of seasons. Today, tulip festivals around the world showcase their continued influence on culture and art. A famous poem featuring tulips is Tulips by Sylvia Plath. This poem was written in 1961 and is deeply personal and explores the themes of illness, identity, and emotional detachment. Plath describes a hospital setting where red tulips disrupt the sterile, still whiteness of her recovery. The tulips symbolize life, passion, and energy, contrasting with the speaker's desire for peace and emptiness. Another well-known tulip poem is A Tulip Garden by Amy Lowell, which celebrates the beauty and vibrant colors of tulips in a garden. A famous tulip joke is, what flower grows between your nose and your chin? Tulips! And now it's time for some fun facts about tulips. But before we do, please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And now, on to the fun facts. Tulips can continue growing after being cut, sometimes even gaining an extra inch in a vase. During World War II, tulip bulbs were eaten as a food source in the Netherlands due to the famine. The world's most expensive tulip variety is the Semper Augustus, sold for the price of a luxurious house during tulip mania. The Kuchenhof Garden in the Netherlands displays over 7 million tulip bulbs every spring. Tulips naturally come in almost every color except for true blue. Tulips are part of the lily family, which also includes onions, garlic, and asparagus. The petals are edible and have been used as an onion substitute and to make wine. 
Tulips require cold temperatures for blooming. Their blooms also close at night when the sun goes down. Tulips are perennials, meaning that they survive the winter and grow again the following year. Tulips are more than just beautiful flowers. They have a rich history, economic importance, and a deep cultural significance. Whether you admire them in a garden or see them in artwork or learn about their role in history, tulips continue to capture hearts around the world. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed learning about tulips, please be sure to subscribe for more fascinating videos. Parents and teachers, if you're teaching about tulips, flowers, or spring, please click the link in the description for an educational resource that will help make learning fun while making your lesson planning easy. Thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!